Welcome to the Aftermarket Report with Vegas and Jim. Today is September 11th, 2019, and I'm going to hand this right over to Miss Vegas. And also, please subscribe and ring that bell for future updates. Miss Vegas? Thank you, Jim. So I just want to, you know, we both want to um, say thoughts and prayers to everyone regarding uh, 18 years ago, September 11th um, incident. Our hearts go out to everybody affected. And uh, it is definitely a day in my life that I will never forget. So I just want to say that uh, our thoughts are with everyone. And, um, you know, we're very sorry and uh, our hearts are with you. So uh, moving on now to the market today, um, want to talk about Apple, IWM, McDonald's, TRNX, and ANCN. Uh, so let's start with Apple. So, you know, we talked about this yesterday, how they had their little show and they announced uh, the new iPhone Pro. They talked about the new streaming service and obviously the stock closed previously at 216.70 and opened up today at 218.07. And we can see even after hours, it's at 223.65. What an incredible, incredible run. Um, you know, a lot of people, uh, you know, I saw some comments on social media and, you know, some people said, oh, this is just a one hit wonder, you know, that they did their little show yesterday and that the stock wasn't gonna do anything. It's just a new phone. And you know what people are not understanding, um, or maybe you know they think that's all they do is phones. But you know, um, Apple is into the streaming service now, so they're into the service and subscription business, which will be launching in November. Obviously, they're into the technology. Um, they're also in the artificial intelligence sector as well. So they're not just a typical phone company like they once were at one time, or a computer company. They've totally, totally have evolved. And this is why people that like longer term holds or longer term investments are definitely investing in Apple. So Jim, let's hear about Apple and your thoughts about, you know, the action today and what you see coming up. Well, that was a beautiful call today. That was for sure. So let's pull up the yearly chart. We had a 142 low down here and now we're raising up here to the double top area that we had a yearly high of 233.47. So we could kind of put that as our long, and I said we were going to start building a new channel maybe. Well, we definitely started doing that today once we broke that resistance level of 216.36. So let's pull this up on the, um, let's go to the 20 day, get rid of some of this other stuff here. That low support still going to be down here around the 2199 area, which I don't think we're going to, going to see now. So we're going to put a new support at 214.17. is going to be your low, the 214.17 area. That's where we had this previous high. And then she broke down and created a little channel and broke out of that. So that's going to be your low. And then your, your second, your third one here is at 216.36. Then we've got another support right here at 217.71. I need to change this. 217.76, somewhere right in there. Then you got another one right here at 220.37. A couple of nice little breakouts on this stock here. Apple. So we got the low support. Let's call it right down here, right around the 216.36 area. The low low is going to be the 214.17 if it decides to pull that back that low. And then that second supports at 217.76. And then that first channel is going to be right up here in that 220.37. And it might pull back to the 222.28 and break a resistance of the two. 2338 to bring you back to that yearly high which was 233.47 and I'm looking for a little consolidated area right here maybe at 227.76 and I see another one right here at 
225.92. The one right there. So pull up that day and see what that does now. Yep, the 217.76 is going to be your low, low support. Your second one's going to be this 220.37, and the first one's going to be at 222.28. And I think I might have mentioned that to Miss Vegas earlier. And that resistance that we got to break is going to be that 224.08. That's going to be Apple. Next one is IWM. Okay, so thank you for the detail on Apple. And uh, also uh, part of the move to day two was also a lot of upgrades from a lot of the analysts. So for sure, their momentum. So on IWM, so this is the one I mentioned. If you were listening to the video yesterday, this is the Russell 2000, um, the ETF and uh, IWM is on fire. And Jim can show you there on the screen. Uh, look at that money flow coming in from those fat cats. They are buying IWM. Uh, you can see the money going in there, millions and millions of dollars. And this is just specifically the dark pool prints from today in particular. So you see serious dough coming in. And look how much money was coming in at, starting at 3.05 today. I mean, they're all going in around 39 million, 39 million. But there was a nice juicy one there, Jim. At 130 million dollars. Yep. So that is really interesting to see. Um, so as a result, um, you know, obviously I'm not buying the stock; it's too expensive. Um, but definitely trading it from the options angle. Uh, very happy to say that we did have IWM option calls last week um, that were alerted at 13 cents um, for the 154 strike, which expires this Friday. And I I sold mine yesterday, and believe it or not. Those calls are now $335 for one contract. I mean, that is just absolute insanity. Um, the money that you can just make in options is just great. Um, so definitely you can be looking at the IWM for continuation. And uh, definitely if you like to trade options or you have a small account or you're new to options, please come by our room and check us out. We have so many like ideas regarding the IWM that can help you grow a small account. So um, definitely just keep checking the different price levels and find a contract expiry date that you like. And uh, you can definitely make some money on the IWM. Jim, let's hear about IWM because you were impressed as well. Well, I was very impressed on how you called this one out. Another thing is that you stuck with it. You mentioned it yesterday and I think it was even the day before. So, you, you know, you look at the five day chart, she got us in a pretty good little runner right here. Look at the five day alone. I mean, down here had a low of 147.94, and she ran all the way up to 157.20, almost a $10 stake in this one here, $10 bounce in five days. So today was a beautiful run on it. It's beautiful all the way up. Just today and yesterday were just both beautiful on this. Let's bring us to the 20 day. We have one little look at it. So we see support definitely is going to be right down here at the 150 area, 151. If it gets down there, that's going to be your solid low support. And then you've got your little channels of resistance levels, that 152.28. And then once it broke that, it kind of had to bounce up here and create another little resistance at 153.84. And then today, we just went ahead and pure sailing all the way up to the top. We had a high of 157.31. So my last resistance was 156.63. That's what we're going to call as our first support, 156.63. Let's pull this up on a daily one minute. 156.63 right there. So we got a break. Probably that's going to be your first little support area. Your second one is going to be right down here at the 155.81. You know, this can pull back. It's had a pretty nice little run, but it might right also right bounce right back where it pulled back from. That's IWM. Keep a good eye on it. The next one we're going to talk about is McDonald's. 
Yeah, so you know, McDonald's, I mean, I love the actual company. I love this for a long-term hold in terms of the stock. Um, I'm currently not trading the option right now because I was just so overwhelmed between Apple and IWM. Um, but I'm gonna turn it right over to Jim because he traded this beautifully and uh, people were really liking that and banked well. So Jim, let's hear about McDonald's and what you see coming up because I still think it's undervalued right here. And uh, you know, talk to us about how you traded that and what you're seeing next on McDonald's. Okay. Let's go to the So first thing I did is I, I swung it over the overnight. I got in it at one thirty nine and then today I sold it at a one eighty three and that was the two twelve um fifty strike for September twentieth, five contracts. Then I got back in it today for one oh one the same one. I just waited for the pullback. And right now, here after hours, we hit 125 to 129. So that's the one I'm in right now. And I use the Tastyworks platform for um, just for trading options. I got three different platforms, and this is the one that I use. So I'm back in McDonald's right now, and I'll probably do the same thing I did today, is get out of it first thing in the morning. And I'll show you exactly what happened here to McDonald's. Right out of the gate. And that's more or less I told everybody what I was going to do from the beginning anyway. We had that initial pullback. And then she went ahead and bounced on up, created new highs. And just couldn't break that previous high that we had the day before. That was right around this 211.31. And when I got in this trade yesterday, down here... That's where I said my resistance was that I wanted to get to if I wanted to get out of it. And that would be the 211.31. So this morning is where we hit. And right when we hit that spot, I went ahead and sold my trade. And then she went ahead and pulled on back, created new lows, and consolidated most of the day. And then here, after hours, she's bounced up a little bit. So I'm up right now on, the, on those little calls that I made on McDonald's. This is what we're going to do though for tomorrow. I think it can pull back. It could pull back to probably this low area of 208.41. I don't know why it's taking a beating like this. It just don't seem right. It seems a little overdone and I still think that. So I'm still believing that we're going to create a channel and that's all right with me because I could scalp this all day long with these options and make two or three or four hundred dollars a scout that's what I did today with it McDonald's so the low support is going to be right around this 208 50 area somewhere in there and I'm going to go ahead and draw that trend line right there to the resistance that we got to break is going to be that 211.31 then I'll bring you up to these other different plateaus that it has to go to but for right now at 211.31 is what needs to break. TRNX is next. Okay, so thank you for the McDonald's. I appreciate it. Yep. Um, the Taronis launched some uh, Texas Magna Gas production hub. So they had news uh, a couple days ago that um, they have now apparently 200 gasification units in Flint, Texas. And they said that a very operational and it's definitely going to help increase the company's production capacity by more than 50 percent and the production facility is going to meet the needs of the clients that they have in obviously texas louisiana and in california so this is very good accomplishment from the engineering team and obviously it's going to help uh take uh you know the florida facility as well because that also is um, a, a facility that they have there too. So I think, you know, we should be watching TRNX. We had some activity on there today. And, um, you know, with oil and gas being hot, um, definitely keep this on watch. I mean, it had very good volume, 2.94 million, high of day was 230. 
and the low today was 170. So it did have a very nice move, like 60 cents move here. Um, so very impressive move. Definitely keep it on watch. Looking for a potential continuation. And then I'd like to hear from Jim what he sees next uh, support and resistance here on TR and M. We, we definitely had some movement on it today as she bounced up off that 180 area and ran all the way up to 231. And to me, that's a pretty good move, and that's where I want to start taking profit. Any time, time I start seeing this kind of action and I start seeing a little bit of weakness, I'm going to get out of it and take my profit on a trade like this, especially when it's a company that I personally like. I just think it has a real uh, difficult time with a share structure but I'm definitely like the company it's just been just not treated as right as it should be TRNX so this is what we're going to do it's oversold right now it just I think it just recently did have a split so let's pull up the 20 day we see we had this split which ran all the way up to 496 then she's pulled on back, had a couple bounces off that. So she's trying to find a channel. And that resistance channel is going to be no higher than that where she went to, which is going to be right around the 232 area, 239, with support area right down here at the 169. So anytime it's down there, it's almost uh, opportunity for a buy at the 169. I want to put that right there. So the pivot point in this channel right now is right around right under the two dollars, the one ninety six. So we're above that and we're trying to break a resistance level. And the resistance here is going to be right around the two oh eight area. <clears throat> That's what we've got to break to bring it up to that to that gap part of that channel, which is going to be right around the two thirty. So this is how we're going to see it. Low support one eighty. 169 for strong buy 196 is kind of like the pivot point or she wants to break up pivot point is going to be right around the 208 then we got 219 230 and then we got that little resistance area here at 235 that's a company that I like but I just think it's mistreated uh, but I, I still like it TRNX and next one and the last one is ANCN. Okay, so can you hear me at all, Jim? Yep. Okay. So now I can't. You can't? Now I can. You can? Yes, I can. Okay, so ANCN is uh, an Chiano Therapeutics, and we've talked about this one in the past. Um, they're into commercialization of therapeutic treatments to treat cancer in areas that are not obviously being in areas that are actually unmet. Um, so one of the things just to point out and, you know, thanks, shout out to Stock Authority who, you know, brought this to my attention because, you know, I, I like to follow volume spike and uh, he mentioned this to me too and showed it to us in chat earlier today. Um, and one of the things he did point out was um, the volume bars that have been happening here, even though the trade, you know, it is uncrowded. Um, but if you notice so far in the month of September, um, there has been a lot of volume spikes. Uh, so it looks to me that there's definitely going to be, uh, like this stock is maybe even under accumulation. So definitely one that I would want to watch. Um, I do have some shares in this as well um, as a swing trade. It's, I, you know, it's not going to be anything that moves very fast unless, of course, you know, there's some news. Um, but I can show you a picture, Jim, that he drew up for me oh? on what we're talking about here regarding these volume bars that we're talking about over the last, you know, several trading days. So far, at least in the month of September, you can see those volume bars, how big they're getting. Um, you know, and not, not really more buying than selling. Okay. So we are seeing the stock, you know, being bought 
but not really a lot of selling happening. Um, so there could be a potential for a good move here on the stock. Uh, so definitely, you know, like we said, do your own due diligence. You may like to keep a watch on it for a future day trade. Maybe you like to watch it for a swing trade, uh, but I'm in it for a swing trade because I'm liking what I see with these volume bars that well, have circled here. Um, so Jim, what are your thoughts on this ANCN? Um, I think it has also a pocket pivot and it's on a new uptrend. Yep. We had to break a resistance of 258, $2.58. And we kind of did that today. We tried to do it yesterday, but today we definitely did it. And we're going to pull up the 20 day right now and just have a look at the 20 day. But we did have a, a yearly high of 1150 with a yearly low of 205. And this is the fifth day from that yearly bottom. So this is a bottom play. This is one you want to watch out when you when I say bottom play. Support level is going to be at 258. Also, I have a little probably it's going to be just like a little pivot point area it can pull back to that 258 and bounce on up and make it back to that 275 and that would be my first area of resistance the 275 so let's pull up the 20 day real fast take a real good look at it three dollar high you see we did that back there about 20 days ago it has had a triple bottom down here right around that two dollar area 205 so we're going to call it, if I was calling the, the, the support level, I would say probably right around this 212 would be mine. And then if I was going to look about getting in this trade, that's where I would think about it. I'd set an alert there, and then I'd have my second alert set around, around the 240. And I think I've mentioned it here in the room at 240 before. And now here we are at 268. 275 so we got to break that resistance of three dollars and you could tell by the yearly chart and they and stop us at any time and write these numbers down but you can tell in this yearly chart we can still make this up to 472 where we see kind of a little bit of resistance here in this little channel right here right back in this area right in here so that'd be like a real hard resistance Anything beyond that would really have to bring it. And that's a big bounce from where we are right now. And we're just now starting to recover from the five-day bottom down there five days ago, down there at 205. So that's it. ANCN. That's it for the report. Ms. Vegas, anything else? No, I just want to thank everyone for liking, following, and commenting on the videos. Again, you're welcome to come to our room. We always have a free trial. Uh, this way, you know, there's no risk, and you don't have to give any credit card information when you sign up. You come check us out, see if you like us. And if you do, great. And we always welcome feedback. So feel free to come by anytime. We're really passionate about helping small accounts and uh, have lots of great samples. If you check on Twitter, I post, I just posted a sample today of um, how a small account can really grow. And uh, I hope that um, you'll come and visit us and uh, help us help you. So um, have a great night and really excited about tomorrow. So uh, Jim, you're yep. excited too? Yep. Well, this is the aftermarket. Right. This is the market report with Vegas and Jim. Today's date, September the 11th, um, 2019, and we dove stocks.